My name is Georgios Zoumis. I am a computer scientist working at the Joint Research Center of the European Commission and in particular the uh, ISPRA establishment in the north of Italy. Um, I'm working for the Global Security and Crisis Management Unit which is dealing with uh, remote sensing applications in support to uh, crisis management throughout the world. With the European Union being among the biggest contributors in humanitarian aid around the world, the European Commission has a direct interest in uh, accurate information concerning uh, crises, uh, humanitarian disasters, natural disasters and similar events around the world. The Global Security and Crisis Management Unit, which is a member, part of the Joint Research Centre of the European Commission, is there to provide uh, scientific and technical expertise uh, in order to uh, uh, assist crisis management operations along this uh, direction. The Global Security and Crisis Management Unit is uh, consisting of several actions, among which is the ISFEREA action dealing with uh, geospatial information analysis. The uh, ISFEREA action is consisting of uh, people that come from a, a number of different uh, backgrounds and uh, typical examples are computer scientists, remote sensing uh, experts, visual uh, interpreters, uh, crisis mappers and uh, political interpreters. The tools and instruments that uh, the ISFEREA action is uh, making use of can handle various types of uh, data. Typical examples are satellite uh, optical data, images, uh, radar data and aerial imagery whenever it is available. Our processing modules uh, proceed by uh, analyzing each type separately and then they have the capacity of fusing the results together with other sources of uh, information that can be either freely available, such as social media, uh, press releases and relevant uh, information in the web, in order to uh, draw more accurate conclusions about the studied areas. Aiming at processing the entire land mass uh, around the globe, which uh, at half meter spatial resolution, accounts to something like uh, 600 terabytes of uh, data. Our standard uh, methods and algorithms that we have developed for this purpose require approximately four hours for this type of, for this size of data. Any query on uh, this uh, data set can be launched in uh, approximately 20 minutes and give back uh, results uh, co corresponding to the targeted structures. So the use of very high resolution uh, uh, satellite imagery is assisting our uh, efforts into detecting accurately features that can be used in order to describe best the situation in various crisis scenarios. Typical examples of such type of uh, processing is the uh, uh, accurate information about damaged infrastructure and uh, examples are our works in the case of the Haiti earthquake in 2010 where we have uh, managed to accurately provide a map of all destroyed buildings and uh, quantify the amount of rubble on the ground. Similar applications have also been, uh, uh, can be found in uh, the case of uh, refugee camps where we are using very high resolution imagery in order to do tent counting, dwelling counting and other types of uh, uh, housing structures that allow us to make safe estimates about the number of, uh, of people that are being affected. And a further example is the uh, destroyed road network infrastructure that, uh, has been, uh, that has a primary importance into organizing relief operations since uh, based on the availability of uh, roads, the rescue teams can reach the affected areas in time. And um, another application area is the tsunami, for example, in the Indian Ocean back in 2004. And similar works have been done also for the uh, Japan tsunami in uh, 2011. So among the challenges that we face in analyzing satellite imagery is the, uh, the different uh, acquisition modes depending on the sensor that is providing the uh, images that we are analyzing and as such our algorithms have to uh, be designed in a way that they rely mostly on geometry and not so much on radiometry. This is a critical uh, detail since uh, we are requested to analyze scenes anytime, anywhere around the world in a consistent manner. The computer technology is moving fast 
and uh, as such we have new devices available in our disposal in order to help us make our uh, analysis faster and more reliable and uh, in a timely fashion. However, the design of algorithms has to take into consideration that uh, not at any time can we have such computers in our disposal. As such, we are driven by um, the motive in uh, designing modules that are as efficient as they can be, make the very best use of the hardware given, and uh, uh, make sure that they are capable of dealing with massive data sets in uh, rather short periods of time.